Hi everybody, we are Bollywood Moms on the Go, and today we are dressed for it. I'm Robin, and this is my friend Sonia, and uh, we wanted to talk to you guys about International Dance Day. Oh yeah, so much fun. And because that's how we met, so we wanted to share more about dance and our journey discovering dance. Yeah, um, we actually met um, doing a Bollywood class together, mm -hmm. and uh, Sonia had been doing the class previously to me, mm -hmm. and so I joined in as a as a newbie, and uh, we just connected like yeah right away. Right away. Yeah, yeah. So it was yeah, pretty cool. So yeah. So today we just want to make something about dance and how we connect to dance, how we feel when we dance. Yeah. And there are so much to say. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want to tell you guys that first of all, I was not a dancer as a kid. Like that, like I didn't take dance classes. I never, never, I never did any of that. And in fact, if maybe 15 years ago, you would have asked me to dance, I would have told you that I'm not a dancer. Yeah, like I would have just said, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a dancer. And then I joined uh, my capoeira group, which is Brazilian martial arts. And they had a dance team as part of their group and they told me I had to dance because I was part of the group and so I started there with Afro-Brazilian dance and I did that um, for seven years but I started that when I was 36 so it's never too late oh yeah so my journey started when I was in my mother's baby I think oh yeah, <laughs> yeah I think I was party there <laughs> And I think uh, as soon as I was uh, able to walk, I was dancing all the time. Yeah. Like, I remember my stepdad would put the music on, and I would just dance as soon as the music, like, <laughs> that I was just like in front and I'm just dancing. And I'm dance then I'm studying the ballet classes when I was five or six. Then dance through all my time up to here, like modern jazz, hip hop, contemporary. And I just discovered Bollywood, um, I think now it's like six years, I think. And when I arrived in Canada, actually, I was looking for activity after delivering my second baby. And I was looking for another style. And then I thought, yeah, I should try Bollywood. And I just like get hooked at Hollywood mm. because it's just, um, it's so much fun. And yeah, it's and you, so fun. Like it's, uh, some dance is really, really strict and really, really um, like ballet. Yeah. Right? Like it's very technical. Um, and, and I don't want to say that Bollywood is not technical because it is, but it's, it's different. It's in a different way. And so there's just more freedom of movement and the energy and the music, yes. you know, even if you're not a dancer, you have to know that music fills our soul. Um, you know, and we dance sort of, you know, professionally, I guess, or, you know, as amateur dancers yeah. for, for, for a group, <laughs> yeah, professional amateurs and, um, that, but that doesn't mean that that's what we're telling you to do. We think we should just get out and dance, go mm -hmm. to a party, go to a wedding, go to yeah. a, yeah, and just get on the dance floor. That just go. feel the rhythm, yeah. and how your body moves, and that's how you connect to the music. And then each music, like, um, tell a story. Yeah. So Bollywood is a lot of uh, sometimes cheesy about love, about <laughs> love yeah. but it's fun because you really exaggerate emotions. Like, oh, this is the drama, and we put in drama for yeah. this, yeah. and this is the happy one. We like fell in love. And it's like, <gasps> and when we feel sad, and <laughs> so many aspects of Bollywood. And I even remember when I a few years back, one of the songs we were doing it was about where you're, where you're, and we were like really like Ooh, into the characters. Yeah. Because so fun, but you can feel the so many emotions through the through the through the songs and the stories. So just yeah. fun to express whatever is there. Yeah, and you know, even when you're having the worst day, when you get to go do that, especially when you're performing, you sort of get to shift out of that mood <laughs> or that moment and and become this character. And so it really helps. It's a very big emotional release, right? Because. because once you're there, especially when you're learning choreography, your brain can't do anything else. So no matter what's going on in your life outside of that place, in that moment, you're so consumed by that learning and that process and the movement in your body. And, and so it really just gives you something that a lot of people don't get to experience. And that's the, the truth of being in the moment, right then and right there. And sometimes it's emotional too. 
Oh, you yeah. Know? Yeah. So you really connect to your presence because you have to connect with your whole body. Okay, you have to move one hand here and then one hip here and then do this and then you go on one side. So you have to think so much that you have to be present. Yeah. And then you thought about whatever you had before, just like you don't have time to think about it because you are present. Yeah. And sometimes if you are having an emotional time in your life, dance helps you to um, release that, you know, I've had many cry sessions <laughs> after a good dance session, you know, but in a good way, in a positive way where you just really? had something that you were sort of, because we, we get very controlling with our emotions and we mm -hmm. tend, or I do anyway, I tend to sort of just, because I'm holding everything together all the time, especially moms, you know, we're always trying to hold everything together and then sometimes it piles up a little bit and so you need that, that safe, that nice release, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And I know that for me, dance is such um, a self-care activity. Like, yeah. each time I go to dance, I'm with my dance uh, slot to go. I go, and when I come back, like, whatever happening, like, whatever chaos is happening in the <laughs> house, it's like, whatever. I'm so peaceful. Like, my body is rejuvenated. I feel so balanced that I can manage the, my siblings, like, hitting each other. It's like, that's okay. Compared to maybe before when I'd be like, again, the fighting, oh, what's happening again? But yeah. when I come back from the dance, my whole, like, I'm really present and I, my level of energy is very high. So it's just like, okay, so what's happening? Yeah, you, okay, there, like, very peacefully and I feel so, so good. Yeah, and we talk all the time about finding your tribe. And so one other thing that, that, a dance community brings you is is a tribe you know and so you have this community of people often who aren't actually in any of the rest of your life right so you have them in this moment but yeah I said yeah you always they will find somebody right to, to take out but um, but it's it's such a nice thing to be able to go in and you know you you love each other you drive each other crazy and just like any other community right but it's it's so fun to just know that you belong so much to this community like that sense of belonging people strive for that they want that in their life and so when you join a dance community that happens just like that it's oh, yeah. it's pretty amazing the dance connect at so many levels that it's just amazing yeah, amazing. It is amazing. And it's in every country you have dance. In every yeah. country you have music. In every country you have a different dance style. So it's yeah. really a universal language. Yeah, and you can learn a lot about a, another country's culture by doing their dance as well, right? So I've, I've done Afro-Brazilian. I learned so much about Brazil and the culture that that came from, like the, uh, the origins, the history. And then now Very I get good. to learn all about India and, and the culture and the history and the, the, tradition. you know, the traditions yeah. of, that, of that culture. And that's such a special thing to me to be able to, first of all, to be invited to learn all about that. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I don't look like what you would expect a Bollywood dancer to look like, you know, <laughs> so you does. <laughs> but, you know, they, they welcome me, there is no question. And our group is so diverse, oh, yeah. um, not only in culturally, but in age too, right? Yeah. yeah we have dancers that are 15, mm -hmm. and we have dancers that are 60-ish plus. <laughs> Ish, in their 60s and uh, and that's a beautiful thing too because we have them all dancing together oh yeah it's such a nice combination so. yeah and what we love about Bollywood also is the all the costumes we love the costumes like with our group we um, we have shows and then we just get dressed up and feel like really like a Bollywood diva yes and we love it yeah we're gonna teach you one move so okay. Bollywood is all about uh, having fun so big smile and uh, one of the moves would be like moving our hips. And we want you to get up. And, yeah, and you have to up. try. You have to try this move. <laughs> it's dance day, so you have to dance with us yeah. just for more. It'd be easy. Yeah. So let's see what the chair is. Yeah. So I'm going to put some music on. I have to move my scarf so you can see this beautiful skirt, you guys. Isn't it so beautiful? All right. So. So let's start. So let's freestyle like a body with diva. Yeah, freestyle. With a big smile. Big you got your smile, you got it. And we're going to move our feet. And switch. Let's smile. And we can repeat it as much as we can with hands up maybe. I 
and I hope that you try this move because they are so fun to do. And we wishing you. And we wish wishing you a happy International Dance Day. So like this video, subscribe, and share, 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 yeah. share, and go dance. Yay!